Welcome guys. This is gonna be a little bit different than our typical live demos. We're at a new location here, top secret. And we have our G200 drone here. This is our 4.2 gallon or 16 liter spraying drone. You can see I haven't unfolded it yet. This is actually its uh, transportation mode. I do have our battery installed. This is the battery right here. We can check our level right here. Fully charged, ready to go. I have the tank partially filled, halfway, for this demonstration. But let's go ahead and get it ready to go. I'm gonna set you guys down for just one second so you can see the process. It's just me out here in the field today, so pardon the, the camera here. All right, I'm gonna go out and get it set up for you guys. Super easy. Takes zero time at all to do this. Real time. Let's go ahead and plug it in. There we go. So that is the complete, sorry about that. That is a complete setup, guys. We'll wait for it to initialize. While we do that, let's go over to our controller, get that configured, and spray this beautiful field. It's a gorgeous day out here. Our controller is right here. I've already created a flight plan to fly here. So you can see it right here. The way I generated this is I actually walked this field with the controller in my hand. And you can see right here, let's see if I can show you guys, that little blue dot, that's me. So I actually walked around and used that blue dot to mark my coordinates. Very, very easy. That's just using the GPS and the tablet. There is also an option for RTK for better accuracy, or you can use map selection, you can import files. There's a lot of different ways that you can generate these files. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about it, check out some of our other videos uh, on our YouTube channel. You guys can check them out there. Let's go ahead and turn on our controller. So we just push it twice and hold it down. There's our camera. Sorry guys, it's a little hard to see. right there. Let's go ahead and connect our Bluetooth connection. Oh, actually, hang on. I'll try that one more time. That's the wrong one. I have two drones paired to this uh, tablet. There we are. We are connected. GPS is good. It's looking good. This is a new location, so it is going to take just a little bit longer to get its GPS. I see it has eight satellites. I'm going to wait till it actually has 10, and uh, then we can get flying. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, click Start down here. That's going to actually uh, send our um, mission to our aircraft. So all our settings here look good. I had already confirmed them ahead of time. We'll go ahead and hit Confirm. You'll see it's going to upload the mission. While it's doing that, let's go ahead and do one last walk around around the drone. In case you guys haven't seen this, this is again our G200 model. It carries 4.2 gallons or 16 liters of payload. It's got a dual pump system hidden behind this shield here. Very easy to fill tank right here. It's got a nice screen as well that you can remove. This little black rectangle, or rather square, that you see here is one of our rear obstacle avoidance radars. You'll also find one in the front and one underneath, which is actually our terrain following radar. Uh, obviously we're in Florida, not a whole lot of terrain, but there is a little bit of a grade in this field. And you'll see that the aircraft is going to maintain a very steady altitude despite the change in grade. This is gonna happen regardless of where you're operating. It can handle very, very steep uh, inclines. This aircraft also has the option uh, for a granular spreader that is really easy to swap out. We're gonna have some videos on that coming soon. 
it takes about five minutes to swap out the granular spreader on this model. As you saw, the assembly is incredibly quick, super easy to use, very easy to set up and move from location to location. Awesome, let's go see if our mission is done uploading. Sure is, it only takes a couple seconds. You can see here we can also adjust our, sorry guys, the reflection is kind of bad. We can actually adjust our takeoff altitude here as well. That looks fine. I think we are ready to go. Let's see, make sure all of our switches are in the correct position. We have our pump in the center position, which is auto. We've got our flight mode switch all the way up. Our AB is off, our terrain following is on. That looks perfect. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and slide to the right. Here we go. How about that? It's gonna head over to its first point, which is actually right there. Actually, it's there. It's gonna come down. Let me zoom you in a little bit. It's gonna correct its orientation. And there it goes. It's gonna shift over. I made kind of an odd shaped pattern. Sorry about the camera work, guys. Might be hard to see, but it is spraying. I have my altitude set a bit high. We have very little wind today, so I felt comfortable setting it up a little higher than normal. I wanted to see kind of how the spray pattern looked. You can see kind of what it looks like from this distance. It's also, you can you might notice how quiet it is. It's extremely quiet. It's not far away from me at all. And uh, it's very unintrusive. Let's get a little closer. You can see it there. Something else that's kind of cool is while it's flying, I'll show you a couple of the features that I like. Let me zoom you out just a little bit more, guys. Oh, wrong way. Still learning this new camera. While it's flying, I'm able to adjust the altitude using this control stick. So I'm going to move this down. You'll see me moving this down. Check out the aircraft as I move it down. Let me get you a little closer. So as I move it down, you can see the aircraft adjusts down and it can go back up as well. I'll leave it a little bit lower this time. How cool is that? Awesome. Let me show you a couple things on the software while it's flying. You can see we have a green line of where the aircraft has already sprayed. The red line is where it has not sprayed. I made a little mistake at the beginning there, guys. I actually had the pump not set to its auto mode. That's why I didn't spray that first line. Sorry, guys. But it's coming down and spraying along its row. You can see it's going to shift over and move on to the next row, and it's extremely straightforward and easy to use. We have our camera right here. Let me get it a little bit bigger. There's our camera view. Sorry guys, I know it's a little hard to see. There it is, super simple. We can go back to our map view here. We have all of our instrumentation down here, working perfectly. And there's our drone over there. So very soon it's gonna be finished with its operation. Let's see if I can get you a little bit better shot. Yeah, it looks great. You can see it's gotten a little bit further away and you can just barely hear it. These new G200s are pretty amazing how quiet they are. I mean, you can just whisper and it's like it's not even there. That fountain right there is louder than the drone. This is perfect for these sorts of operations if you need to apply a uh, fertilizer using the granular spreader in this field or apply a herbicide. Uh, it's perfect for this sort of operation.
so we'll keep it going here. And you can see how it shuts off the pump at the end of each, each row and then resumes the pump. So this has a smart spray system. It uses an onboard flow meter uh, to control the flow rate very, very accurately as it's flying. Amazing. Let's go back to our, uh, our tablet here and see how we're doing. I think we're getting pretty close to being completed. We have two more, about two and a half more passes here. Looks really good. We can actually pause the mission at any time here. We can even end it here and it'll come back home. You'll see the uh, return home in just a minute here when it finishes. So you can see it down here. Looking fantastic. See, it shuts off the spray pump, scoots over, and then resumes. Again, you can always override this aircraft. So if I want to adjust the height, bring it down a little lower. I may actually have the terrain sensing off for this flight. I'll have to double check. It's not following the terrain. I think I disabled it, actually. My bad. We'll do another demonstration with the terrain following soon, guys. That's why we do this live. So you can see right now the drone has stopped. It's hovering right there on the opposite end of the field and waiting for a command. So this is its default behavior. Let's go all the way out. You can see it here. I'm going to tell it to come home now. So on my tablet, I'm going to go up to my home button up here. I'm going to confirm that I want to return home. And the drone is going to come right back home. See it coming back right from where I took off from. It's going to orient itself in the same direction so you can refill it in case you need to continue a mission. In this case, it completed it successfully. And it's going to land automatically. You can see how smooth and stable it is and it's landing. Well, I'd say that was absolutely perfect. So you can see this is a fully autonomous aircraft from takeoff to landing. Um, it completed the mission successfully this time without running out of water in this case. But if it did run out of water, run out of battery, lose signal for any reason, the aircraft is going to automatically return home just like you saw. It's also going to save a point from where it left off called the break point, which will allow you to resume it at any time in the future. So let's say it's the end of the day today. We want to pack up and come back tomorrow to continue our job, we can do that. It saves it in the software. It shows you the percentage of area that you finished and uh, allows you to resume it. So it's very, very simple. You can see uh, we barely used any battery in this flight. Just, uh, we're still at two and a half, three bars here. So very, very simple. You guys can see the camera hidden in here too. I didn't show you guys that first. These are lights. It's already equipped for a nighttime operation. It's got nav lights down here right on the front, green on the back rotors. Very, very easy to maintain and clean this aircraft. It has extremely good drift control with the nozzle layout that it has. Um, very simple to operate this aircraft. Very easy to maintain. It's field serviceable. I always show this replacing a motor arm. Literally takes seconds. You just unscrew one bolt, disconnect two connections, and you can release the entire arm. This drone's designed to work. Get one last overview here. Typical flight time on a full battery, full tank. It's going to run you about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the rate that you're spraying. Um, typical rates, spray rates with this aircraft are going to be between one to five gallons per acre. So you can cover a lot of area with this. Uh, again, depending on the rate, 
a lot of our customers are easily able to cover 20 to 30 acres per hour with this aircraft. Pretty incredible system. You can see very, very simple design. Strong carbon fiber landing gear here. You can see these pins right here are designed to be released by just pushing. And it drops these arms, which allows you to swap out the tank if you need to, for example, for the granular uh, spreader. And uh, again, the entire aircraft is designed for serviceability. Awesome. Guys, I'm really uh, glad you guys joined us to see this demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do have any questions, you can simply go to our website at hse-uav.com. You can see it here. And we'd be happy to answer those questions for you. We have a phone number at the top of the website. You can email us, request a quote, and learn more about this aircraft. Again, thank you guys again for joining us. I really hope you enjoyed this system. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.